Hey everybody, it's Joey Snow. And Rick Claus. We are Patch and Switch, and we are on the road to Microsoft Ignite, September 24th through the 28th in Orlando, Florida at the Orange County Convention Center. Today's episode, we are talking about... Immersion zones. Da -da -da. <laughs> we need, we need, we need, we need that music. sound effect. We need music. <laughs> the, the, this, is a, this is a new area inside of the Expo Hall area okay. that will have a unique set of experiences available for us to go off and explore. I kind of call this taking it to the next level. From This is the hands-on. You've been doing sessions, whether they be breakout sessions, whether they be theater sessions. Now it's time to go in and get hands-on and you do that inside of the immersion zone. Right. There are different types of ways that you can get hands-on. So let's start breaking it down. We talked a little bit about these types of sessions when we did the, the uh, episode on the, the schedule building right. and, the, and session types, but let's go deeper. Let's start with the immersion workshops. Yep. You've got experience with these. Talk about yeah, it a so, little. Yeah, so the immersion workshops are basically a hands-on interactive learning session that is set up and they're going to be running on a regular basis on the hour every hour, Monday through Friday. Um, well, I guess technically you couldn't really do them on Monday because they're going to be busy with keynotes in general, so mainly kind of Monday afternoon to Friday. I'm already talking too much about this anyway. So, <laughs> the, the concept is basically that you have uh, multiple different topics that are all based around the M365 platform experience as a whole. Uh, and you're going to have um, about 20 sessions uh, available inside the rooms. And you're going to have about, what is it, um, a handful, like 18, 20-ish odd people inside each of these different immersions. And you're going to be led through a scenario and working through um, experience of trying to solve these different interactive role-based experiences that exist. So think of this as hands-on, but not in the traditional instructor-led lab format. It's this like is the next generation. This is going through scenarios. Yeah. This is not everybody clicking through the same thing, doing it the same way every uh, the, the way every other attendee is. Mm -hmm. This is a different type of experience. This is something new um, that we've actually kind of based. Um, on these customer immersion experiences that we've been doing at Microsoft. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's really kind of cool because you, you get to bounce the ideas off of each other and then go solve this, this problem in this scenario. Right. Uh, and as you mentioned, just to clarify, it is around the Microsoft 365 platform stuff. Right. So that's, think Windows, think Office, think uh, uh, EM plus S, so the, mm -hmm. um, uh, the security stuff. So super cool, uh, modern desktop security, but I, I love this. Uh, it's really a, a great way to not only uh, learn the technology, but also interact mm -hmm. with your fellow attendees, which is a big part of the, what I love about Microsoft Ignite. Now, the second form of things taking place during the immersion zone or inside the immersion zone area is known as a technology workshop. Ooh. Technology workshops are going to be what you're expecting to see inside of a more traditional style instructor-led lab. Okay. Uh, that will be taking place. Uh, there's about, um, I, I guess you'd say, definitely larger in scale and size, about 60-odd people are going to be taking place in one workshop at one given time. And you're going to be led through uh, with a hands-on activity by the instructor at the front and also assist by, assisted by proctors. So this is more traditional style. Yeah, think, think, think this at that old school, well, I don't want to call it old school, the, the things that we used to do in terms of an instructor-led lab. Um, one thing to note regarding technology workshops Given the area that they're being hosted in, mm -hmm. uh, it is quite loud. Yes. So the instructor and, uh, of course, all of you as students will be wearing a headset. Oh, so, so I like, want to so make like sure a, that folks are aware. So like a silent disco thing. <laughs> <laughs> silent disco for technology learning. I love that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's Can awesome. You, though, though you don't have the ability to switch to the different <laughs> channels. There's, there's only one instructor in the front of the room. Right. But also proctors to kind of help you through that. Right. Now, speaking of proctors, mm -hmm. third type of experience that we have is the proctored lab experience. Mm -hmm. If you're familiar with Microsoft Ignite and been to previous events, this is very similar to what we used to traditionally call a hands-on lab. These are essentially on demand. These are not scheduled. Right. Um, th these are... Uh, th um, Basically, they're broken down into stations. Yes. And individual stations will have the ability to run three to five specific topics on a per station basis. There will be proctors in the area of where these stations are that are experts in those different technologies to be able to assist. So it's not some ginormous room with random proctors walking around with so many different offerings that they can't be experts in. Yep. If you're going to be sitting down in this particular station here with these three to five different labs that are able to be done, the person that's going to be helping you out is going to be an expert in that one area. So it's very focused. Super cool. So you'll be able to get your hands on 
that experience based on the sessions that you've been to, yep. and when you run into, if you run into any problems or you want to get more information, you've got a proctor there that knows. Now, there is no set schedule for these ones. No, these, these on ones demand. are on demand, no matter where you happen to be. Uh, so you can basically put them in your schedule and fill them up in your own spare time if there's a seat availability that happens to be there. Um, each of the different proctors are basically going to be able to complete the labs in those different stations and be able to help you go through them. So they'll have the knowledge and experience. Now, so those are on demand. That's the proctored lab experience. It is important to note that if you are planning on doing the immersion workshops or the technology workshops, these have to be scheduled in advance. Mm -hmm. We are going to basically do a rush of class scheduling like we did in college. Yes. When does this start? So on November, November, sorry, <laughs> uh, September the 11th, 9-11 uh, is going to be when the registration spots open up to get into this. It's a first come, first serve basis. Once you hit capacity, just like in college, uh, you don't get to audit the course later and get credit. No, no, no. <laughs> this means that you're on a wait list. And literally, there will be an area for the people that are on that wait list to be able to go and to add themselves into seats that are become available. So don't just grab them because you want to go through these labs. You really want to actually experience them as far as these different experiences for both the immersion workshop and the technology workshop. Get them in your schedule, but be conscious of the fact that you are taking the seat of one of those spots and you should be there. Otherwise, it's going to be given to somebody else. So remember, get hands on with the Immersion Zone, the Immersion Zone located in the West Hallway. Yep. Uh, all of these experiences are located right there in the West Hallway. No need to go traveling all over the place to get, to get this hands on stuff. September the 11th is when the rush style, mm -hmm. uh, add these to your schedule begins. Make sure you get that ahead of time. And I think that about covers it for the Immersion Zone. It's, it's a great, I, I love this concept. I love the fact we can go deeper. You can see the topics of what's going to be covered in both the Immersion Workshop and the Technology Workshop right now inside the Schedule Builder, but you just can't add them in. Okay. Right? So okay. you'll be able to add them in. So, so, we, we, so we can look today at what, what's happening. Right. Very cool. Very cool. Get those schedules filled out. Get that alarm set on your phone for the September the 11th uh, to get those uh, Immersion Workshops and the Technology Workshops added to your schedule. That about does it for this episode. Oh, I'm excited. I want to. I can't wait to see how these, these come out and come play. <laughs> so, uh, you want to know more about what's happening at Microsoft Ignite, you want to follow us at sign Patch and Switch on Twitter. Also on Facebook, yep. facebook.com slash Patch and Switch. And all of us happen to monitor from an events perspective the hashtag on Twitter, hashtag MS Ignite, for being able to stay up to date, ask questions, and get them answered. We are Patch and Switch. We're on the road to Microsoft Ignite happening in Orlando, Florida, September 24th through the 28th. We'll see you next time.